straight out to Paul Birmingham, KNST. Paul, I'm going to play portions of the interview they conducted, but why no questions about what happened specifically that night? Who put the child to bed? Why didn't the mom check on her the following morning? Why wasn't she wearing her PJs? Was a window left open? A, a, a million questions. I, I, why? Why didn't we get answers to those? Those are all outstanding questions. These are things that we've asked the police themselves. Now we have an opportunity, or at least one reporter had an opportunity, to ask these questions, but yet they weren't asked. These were questions about, describe Isabel for you. These are things that we would expect. I don't want to call them softballs, but they were not particularly probing questions. As to why those were not asked, I couldn't tell you. Okay. Why did you say, I don't want to call them softballs, but... Well, you, that, 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 you, we don't do that here, all right? We call it like it is. We did not get answers to serious questions, Paul Birmingham. You're, you're really putting perfume on the pig, and I appreciate that because the parents are not suspects. I don't want to heap pain onto them, but I don't understand why they refuse to answer simple questions. We learn on our own they have, in fact, both taken a poly. Their results are not revealed. First to you, Woody Tripp, former police commander, polygraph expert. Weigh in, Woody. Well, Nancy, it's, it's rather interesting. I certainly understand the police's point of not revealing the polygraph. I do find it odd, though, that in this case the parents aren't revealing any information. Normally, you know, they will uh, exclaim uh, the virtues of them taking one and having passed it. So I don't know if they're being directed not to say anything by someone or if, in fact, uh, you know, there's some other dire consequence. As hey, Woody, what do you make of this fortified wall around their home? That's rather interesting. But, again, Nancy, in today's time, um, you know, uh, there's so many homes now that have that. There's so many precautions, which also adds to the fact, though, this girl has wound up missing out of this place with a fortified wall. Well, a lot of people are suggesting that why would an intruder pick this home to take this girl when you had to get over a wall? There's a security camera up there. Of course, we know now that it was not working, that there are cars parked in the driveway. There are obviously people home. But let me remind everybody about the Elizabeth Smart case. That home appeared to be extremely safe. Somebody broke in. Same thing happened with Danielle Van Dam. Somebody broke into the home. Both time parents in the home while the child was taken by an intruder.